the the problem with being a youtuber or, or, or an online entertainer is that you constantly have to outdo yourself I imagine your job or whatever you do being a competition uh it's it's not a healthy thing uh, i thought we we're gonna talk about a video i made a year ago it was about happiness it was about forced positivity. Remember that video? I don't think being happy all the time is something desirable at all. Basically, uh, I talked about how a lot of YouTubers had to keep up this sort of facade of happiness and oh, look how great everything is to sort of draw people in and be entertained by you. I got really fed up and really tired of keeping this facade that, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really having a great time playing this game. Oh, wow. I sure love playing Minecraft every single day for years. <laughs> I remember really just playing games and in the back of my head, I was like, I'm really hating this game. I'm really not in entertained by this. But I sort of had this idea in my head that well, it's my job and people want me to play it, so I should just do it and, you know. But it wasn't fulfilling for me and it wasn't making me happy. And so I thought I would make a video just uh, sort of explaining that perspective. Because I think, I think it's important for, for everyone. I think a lot of people have this illusion in their head that money and fame is gonna bring them some sort of happiness and i think a lot of youtubers and a lot of entertainers when they get this get to the point where actually i have everything i want or thought i wanted but i don't feel happy and i don't feel fulfilled and that just makes them even more unhappy and less fulfilled my advice to a lot of youtubers and entertainers is do what makes you happy if you lose some fans in the process i think in the, in the end it, it will be worth it and I think a lot of us need to stop taking uh, their own personal health uh, after whatever it is they're doing.